Now, Andrew, did you I see did. the clip? <laughs> you don't know I what I'm going to say yet. I did. Of BBC newsreader Mariam Moshiri. It's gone viral. Uh, she was caught red handed reading the news on the BBC, giving the middle finger. Have a look. Live from London, this is BBC. <laughs> and you see, that is contempt. Oh, Come on, it is. On. We pay £159.50 for the licence fee. They want to put it up 15%, the biggest increase ever, which will take it to £173. And that's what she thinks. She thinks to the viewers and the listeners of BBC, up yours. She has made a statement this morning, I right, see. saying... First time she's probably said anything interesting in her life. <laughs> so she said, hey, everyone, she said, which is always slightly like, yeah, I'm in trouble. Yeah, yeah, hey, yeah. everyone. Yesterday, just before the top of the hour, I was joking around a bit with the team in the gallery. We do that. I was pretending to count down as the director was counting me from ten to zero, including the fingers to show the number. So ten Rubbish. fingers held up Rubbish. to one. And he said, and when we got to one, I turned the finger round as a joke, and I did not realise it would be caught on camera. It was a private joke, and I'm yeah. so sorry it went yeah. out on air, exclamation yeah. mark. It was not my intention. She goes on and on and on and on. Yes, and on. She, fact, why, when you're caught in the act, just put your hands up. Yes. Don't you think? But I think people are being quite harsh on Mariam. Let's, let's just watch it one more time. It's a bit quick. You missed it. Obviously, we're pixelated. Here you go. Live from London. Very long time, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Probably the most interesting thing. Probably the so, most interesting on BBC News. And most people never heard of her, and they won't hear of her again. But uh, just don't be silly and say, I was counting down. Caught in the act. This is what she thinks. I mean, there, but for the grace of God, go any of us, right? Isn't the first time it's happened. Speak the BBC for have been uh, caught red handed with this again. It happened Speak in 22 yourself. with weather presenter Thomas Schaffernacker. Do you remember this? detail you could possibly want. I've just seen Thomas Schaffernacker <laughs> preparing uh, for it, so I'm not in touch. Ah! Oh! Every now and then, there's always one mistake. That, <laughs> that is very funny. Yeah, but come on. I mean, look, we, we, you know, we take our job very seriously here. But we do have a no, giggle we, from but, time to time. You yeah, have we do, to. But we also take our viewers and listeners very seriously, and we would not be giving them the... No. ..the finger. But we love our viewers and our listeners. We and love them. more and more of them. And we get more and more... I don't believe she was doing that to the audience. I think it's a bit of an extrapolation to take her messing around with the crew as an indication that the BBC hate the British public. Yeah, but look, they cannot have that... I mean, 15% pay rise, uh, rise in the licence fee. Yeah, I agree. Cost of living crisis. Remember the over 75s used to get a free licence? Yep. No longer. And the deal was, which George Osborne struck when he was Chancellor, dreadful man, uh, that uh, it would be, you'd lose that license in exchange for cutting back spending, cutting back... They never did. Well, they, they've got, they've got, they've got a new... on the deal. BBC have got a new chairman today, haven't they, in yeah. um, Samir Shah? And actually, I was talking about this issue with my teenagers this year, and uh, this week, because we were talking about it, and they were astonished that they could go to prison for not paying for content that they don't want or watch. And that's really what it is, and that's why the model is outdated and it'll never survive. Yeah. And actually, um, I don't think we should ever, ever criminalise people who don't pay the BBC. No, license I agree. Bit. I you agree. You should not go to prison. You should not have to get a, a, a licence. I mean, 2.8 million people now are not paying the licence who are watching TV because yeah. they just don't bother. Well, they're putting because they're not watching television. They're watching it on de other devices, yeah. and it is out of date. Yeah. And they've got to find another way forward. Yeah, they and do. Who, and this boat they've appointed is just going to be another. Um, Tick box. And, What's his name? Uh, Samir Shah. Samir Shah. Tick the box. But if you like GB News, do tell your friends to turn off the BBC and find us. So let us know your thoughts. GBviews at gbnews.com.